Welcome back to the video lecture series for Introduction to Other Programming using Scala. In this video we're continuing our expression parsing. Uh, the last video we started off and we want to be able to take to write this function here, a uh, method called eval that takes a string that might be something like this, uh, our previous we're talking about it with a plus sign in here, um, and we decide we're going to approach this from a divide and conquer uh, standpoint, which is that we start off by finding the location of the lowest precedence operator. So that's the first half of our function. And then once we've found the lowest precedence operator, assuming one exists, uh, we have to deal with that. And so we wrote this code, which we believe finds the lowest precedence operator at this point. Now I want to write the part where we deal with it. So there's actually two possibilities. One, Uploc is less than zero. That means there was no lowest precedence operator. And well, what can cause that? And there are actually two possibilities here. Uh, one is that the string that we got is completely enclosed inside of parentheses. So, for example, if you give us, if we take this string, it won't find any operator because everything is inside of the parentheses and we only look at operators that are not inside of parentheses. So I want to say if expr.trim, I want to get rid of any leading and trailing spaces just in case there happen to be some in there, dot, uh, actually let's do sub zero, is equal to the character open parentheses and because we found no uh, operator, we're going to assume that this has oh, the trim. Oh, there we go. So I'm um, trim doesn't take any arguments. I need to put a set of parentheses there to signify that is the call to the method. But because it returns to me a string, I can use the sub zero to get the value out. I had to put the extra set of closed print or the open and closed parentheses there. Otherwise, Scala thinks that I'm trying to pass sub zero into into trim, and it makes and it's unhappy with that. So in this case, I want to recursively call eval, and the string that I want to pass it is expr. Once again, I'm going to get rid of any leading trailing spaces, and then I'm going to take the substring that goes from one to expr dot length minus one. So expr.length minus one is actually the last character. This would be the matching closed parentheses, uh, but substring is exclusive on that end. Else. So what if the whole thing isn't inside of parentheses? Then what's the possibilities for why we didn't find an operator? And the simple answer here is that the number that, or that what we got down to, the string, is simply a number. Because this, as, as this continues to do the divide and conquer, so first it divides on the plus, and we get 4 times 3, and then it will divide on the times, and we'll get strings of 4 and 3. And those are just numbers, they don't have operators in them, so this is going to run right through and find no operator, and we just want to take that result and convert it to a double. Okay, what if we did find an operator? Well then what we need to do depends upon what the operator is. So expr sub oploc match. I have some different cases. Case of a plus. In that situation, I want to recursively call on the two sides and add them. Eval called on substring, sorry, called on expr dot substring from 0 to offload. Remember it's exclusive on the top so the fact that this goes to the operator isn't a problem and I want to add that to eval of the XPR dot substring from <coughs> oploc plus 1 and the version of substring that takes a single argument goes until the end of the string. The other operator possibilities, minus, multiply, divide, 
and all we need to change is that. Okay. Uh, we could have written this in other ways. It's actually possible to make this less verbose, uh, but that works uh, well enough for us. All of the options there wind up returning something. And there we go. I was able to get rid of the 0, 0.0 at the end. Uh, I should finish off by writing a real quick main and figuring out if this actually works. Def main args is an array of strings. Print line eval of that string run this and I get 22 which is indeed 12 plus 10 what if I do this this would be 4 times 5 times 5 which is 100 bingo we get 100 okay turns out there is a bug in this uh, the bug occurs when we do something like that currently this doesn't handle uh, having negative values very well because as soon as it sees the negative, it assumes that it's not negative, it's actually subtraction. And I will leave it to my viewers to figure out how you can fix this code to make it so that it will only pick up the minus signs when they're actually subtraction and not when they are negatives. That's it for this video, and we'll see you again later.